Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Nux3 and Superbase. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so let me first correct the email here. What, do you, what we need to do is first go to Superbase. So if you are new to Superbase, then Superbase is an alternative to Firebase where it provides you also almost similar features to firebase but instead of having those collection model like what firebase provide here it provides you an sql model where you have a postgres sql authentication wise it's pretty much similar to firebase uh, but just few things here and there and it is open source yes but it is paid it has a free usage limit so if i go over here to home and you will see like uh, okay not over here maybe in the setting somewhere so you should be able to see your bill yeah billing and usage so here you'll see how much quota is remaining for your usage how much you have used and all those stuffs so if you want to have extra quota then you need to just upgrade uh, which like uh, there are like you can see there's option to upgrade to pro so like rest other things in terms of storage and everything it's similar to firebase so let's begin with integrating it with our nuxt app now the problem with nuxt 3 is still today's date uh, it is uh, having it is in a beta version and there are lots of problems when you deal with superbase and nuxt so there are a couple of workaround so i'll just discuss those and then we will see how we can tackle the problem the first problem is if you're having the ssr renderings like server side rendering enabled in your nuxt 3 app so it will give you a conflict for superbase import so what you need to do is first you need to have a superbase client so okay let me get from the start so what i have done here is in the assets folder I have superbase.ts. Now I'm importing create client from superbase. Okay, superbase.js. Then I will need to put the superbase URL, which I will get it from home. And then over here, you will see this is our URL. So we just need to copy this URL and put it over here. Generally, you can get this from env file. So from here, so if I want it from env file, well, that's pretty simple. So I just need to do process dot env dot superbase url okay then uh let me check quickly if it's correct superbase url yes then you will also need this encrypted key so this key will be your anon or public key now this key i will copy it again and now i will get it from the env file so let's just remove it completely that's great now we have our key and then in our superbase uh, config here we can just say process dot env dot superbase key okay because that's what we are calling it in our env file actually it's underscore in both cases so here and here so superbase underscore url and superbase underscore key okay so then we just initialize our superbase client and we just import it wherever we want to import it now if i uh, go to register so here uh, if you have seen my previous video on Firebase integrating with Nuxt3, it's the same video. Here we will be just doing it for Superbase. So if you haven't checked that video, please do check that video. We have here Superbase imported from our assets superbase.ts. Then uh, as it's an asynchronous function, so we just we are just putting here a wait so that uh, we can do it in a sequential way or in synchronous way. So we just target the auth signup function in the Superbase client and we pass our email and password that we are getting from our form component this will give us user details session and error now if i run this code so if i go to my console where the server is already running now if i go to register you will see i will get this 500 error now the problem with this is this esm imports type so 
it's kind of surprising for to me as well like for ssr it doesn't work but for uh when ssr is disable it work so if i disable ssr from here so if i go to uh, where is next config.ts and here if i just put ssr as false and then go back over here just delete this dot next folder and then start again server now as we are having the env so we just need to fix this env problem so okay so for time being i have just substituted that process.env with hard coded values so because we just need to test if it works so, so here we are with the credentials so let me just type the password again so that we can use it for login so this credentials now what i have done for my settings is so if i go to authentication in superbase for in the users and then sorry actually in the settings there if you are testing it with fake emails you might want to disable this email confirmations because if you have enabled this then you need to confirm the email to log in so as i'm using a fake email over here which is this one so for time being i have just disabled it uh, from here in the settings but of course you can enable it if you are using it with the real email address so as we are here now, as you could see, we also have other authentication providers. So if you, I want Google Auth enable, then I just need to enable this or uh, turn, toggle the radio button. So, so what we need to do is just go to the users and see if we are getting any users when we register. So what I'm gonna do is, so let's see if it works. So if I hit register, so here it is saying that we are having problem with sign up. Yes, I put the wrong URL. So just let me double check, okay, CJ okay that's correct one now okay so i've just replaced the token i was using the previous token uh i just created a test project before making this video so from that previous uh, test project uh, just using the old code token so with the new credentials let's see what we get so here we have the new user so this new user now we can use to log in in our system now i will tell you the other way so we will do the login using the other way where we have ssr enabled and what's the work around or what what we can do so let's go back to our project and let's enable the ssr from here so i'll just remove this line from here and now in this case what we need to do is we will need a server okay in this case we will need a server middleware where we will be making our api request and from that api request we can then have our express api to do those super base login and register and all those stuffs so here i have a server middleware folder uh, in the root directory and in, inside that i have index.ts and now i am getting this super base client from this assets super base ts okay then what i need to do here is I just need to uh, use the superbase sign in so all the documentation you can get it in the api docs so if i go over here uh, in api docs so here you will see all the documentation and also if you want you can also check this superbase i will put this link in the description so here you will see the documentation of uh, like almost every superbase feature so that being said, let's go back to our project. So in the authentication back again. So let's see if we have the user. So there is the user that's great. Let's go back over here. So now what we need to do is as I'm using Express because uh, for no Nuxt3, if you're having a server folder and inside that, if you're having the API folder and then the path of this uh, file, suppose if this was login.ts, then you have ready-made path which is localhost colon 3000 forward slash api forward slash login with the if you just need to do those in a uh, vanilla node.js way but to have it a bit flexible way i have just went with express and added the middleware in our nuxt config.ts so this middleware uh like it's it's simply from nux2 if you are aware of it it's nothing different so we just need to instead of doing module.export you see here that we are having this uh, es6 format or module import format and also the export format so we just need to follow that because nux3 supports that and then we can simply make an axios request from our login page so what i will do is i'll just uncomment this piece of code so what is what this is gonna do is it will make because as we are using server side rendering so we can reuse the server that we that the next three already provides so there we will just make a request to 
on the same url forward slash api forward slash login it will be a post request with the payload and we will just see what data we get when we do rest dot data okay so let's go back over here let's go to login okay so here i will just put the email that i used to register and let's see what we get in the console there we are we have the user and the error so if i go here and check for the user so we have the user id the email password and all those user details so this is how you can have a workaround if you want server-side rendering i hope as it's a beta version so when nux 3 becomes production ready these small small things are solved in that so that's why it's recommended that if you're using for production then nux 3 may not be a good idea okay so that's all in this video so hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also please last request you could follow me on twitter so i'll put my twitter account so that would be great as well so that's all for this video see you in the next video goodbye